my name is Erica Benfield and I'm going to talk to you today about suggestions and tips on how to shop for an airy rug. There's a few things to consider when you're looking at airy rugs, whether it be online or in the store. First, we're going to talk about the type of airy rug. How do you know the different types of rugs when you're looking online, they're looking at a flat picture and they all look the same? Well, you want to take into consideration the type and make note there's several different techniques used to make airy rugs. One of the most popular is hand tufted and it's still a hand used technique but it's more cost effective. There's others such as hand hooked, you have power loom, machine made, so make note and read the description so you can identify the type of rug fabrication used to make that rug. Then you want to consider the pile. If you have a room that has a lot of high traffic, then you want a rug that has a thicker, denser pile so that the rug doesn't bunch up or become a tripping hazard. Now, the most common question that I get asked as an interior designer is, what rug size should I buy? There's a big jump sometimes between a seven by nine versus an 11 by 13. And the rule for, that I use is that at least all the pieces of the furniture should sit on the rug. Now, if you have a larger scale home, very tall ceilings, you have four to five foot walkways, therefore, you can use a rug that sits on the outside of the furniture and all the furniture sits inside. The most common mistake that people make is what I call the bath mat factor. And that is when the rug is so small that the only piece of furniture on the rug is usually the coffee table. Stay away from that. Your most common rug sizes for family rooms, living rooms, are gonna be between a seven by nine up to a nine by 12. Five by eights are usually for smaller rooms like kids' rooms or foyers. So hopefully these tips, such as the fabrication, the pile, and the rug size, will help you feel more confident in buying an air rug.